guys. Uh, this is going to be kind of a, an add-on, a supplement, or I guess a continuation of the video on the Field Bond Tactical bags. Uh, I've got I've done two videos so far on the Field Bond Tactical lineup. Uh, one of them was on. this bag here. Uh, this is my everyday bag. This is what I carry every day. This is what I hook my tripod on for the camera. And I run it down here. But uh, this is it. This is the bag that I run all the time. Now there's also a larger version that you've already seen. There's this, the big boy here, the granddaddy. Now, the one that I said is my everyday bag was $29. And this one was, I think, $39, I think was what the price was. I got that padded area for sunglasses. Or sometimes I'll keep a camera in there. Uh, this will lift up for your camel back or for your headphones or whatever. Uh, but just phenomenal bags. Nice padding. Uh, now this larger bag, I have carried, I've carried 120, 130 pounds in it worth of ammo. And left it in there for months just weighted down and just carrying it to and from the range. Of course that, that weight would change some as we as I would shoot but uh, it was just kind of my extra extra ammo bag for with all different kinds of random calibers and stuff depending on what some student may have or need or, or you never know and so it would just get that bag got slung in and out and everything and everything on it was was fine. Not had a problem yet. Now the other bag I showed you that bag I haven't had a problem with it, and I carry it every day, every single day. Um, it's in and out of cars. It's uh, it goes to the range. I, I use it to shoot off of. Uh, it is, like I say, it gets worked. The zippers are worked multiple times every day. I've not had a problem with them yet. So I found these three, and these are different than those two bags. This one here, we'll start out with this. This one is a sling bag. One strap, nice padding. It's got, you can run, if you want to run, I don't know, earphones or whatever, loop it up through there. Nice neoprene pull handle. I like that the entire thing has this loop on it. Um, that helps if you do have it weighted down. It really helps disperse the weight. Um, I'll show you here. Large main compartment with accessory pockets. Uh, of course, it's got molly all over it. Adjustable sling with quick, quick release buckle. Uh, shoulder strap with molly locking system. Front zippered accessory pocket with zipper pull, security snap closure. Removable, removable front compression strap secures the load. That's what I was talking about. Um, you've got a side pocket here for your water bottles or whatever. You have got snap there will help secure your zipper. that pocket there and the way that the reason that it's got a side pocket there is because you got this thing slung on your shoulder you can rotate it say up and under and then it will sit on your torso like what I was saying is you got it on and you can sling it not like that I haven't tightened it up or anything I just threw it over my shoulder but the reason those pockets are on the side there 
It's because you can rotate this around to the front and then you have access to you know whatever it may be. You could have used that pocket there as your concealed carry pocket. Of course it won't fit this full size but an MMP shield or something along the lines of that would work there. And you would have quick access where you could just rotate that around and you're ready to go. Uh, of course it's got this pocket here. It's got molly webbing here where you could hold magazines in there. Another opening there. I like the elastic. You can bind stuff down with that. We open up this pocket and again these pockets are made to where you can run it like this. You've got a, another little side pocket there, one there. Again you see the way it's oriented. These zippers work really good. This is our main pocket. You've got an internal binding strap. I like that. You can, like, that right there, if you had a Ruger 1022, a breakdown model, cinch it up in there. You've got a large inner pocket there. Another large inner pocket. This is one heck of a bag. You have another pocket right here. This pocket, just like the other ones, the other large one, it has this same deal. And that can be used for you know, secret storage. You can put a camel back in there. Uh, a lot of good things in this bag. And uh, this bag is running, I'll tell you here, that black sling bag is running around, I don't know, I think that they're running, most places have them for about 35 bucks, right around that. $35 for that. All right. Now, these two are the same. I'm not the biggest fan of this camo color, but it is different. Um, tell you what I'll probably do, I'm going to set this one back here, and since they are the same bag, I think you might be able to see it better on this one, what you're actually looking at. The camouflage works too well. <laughs> so anyways, on this one, you've got your side pocket, water bottle, whatever you want. Molly, you have a front pocket that's that's hooded. Let's see what it says about that. If it says anything in particular, it says uh, roomy main compartment, large front accessory compartment, roomy main compartment, internal three pouch organizer. Side water bottle pocket, padded back, shoulder straps. All right, nothing special. Uh, it doesn't say anything special about it there. But let's open it up. Good size pocket. Velcro. I wouldn't mind seeing more Velcro on the insides of these pockets. That would be the one thing that I would fault them for if, as far as from a tactical standpoint. Uh, I would like to see more Velcro. We'll go in here to our main compartment. And that is a good sized main compartment. This one doesn't have all kinds of inner pockets and everything. This is a more slimmed down, toned down bag. This bag I believe is uh, running for right around 20 bucks uh, in either color. Um, I think it's actually like 19 something. 
no other pockets or anything. This one's just a, a stripped down, simple. It's like a, a tactical book bag. Although, as a parent, the I really do like this compartment because as a parent and, and, and knowing the way that the world works today, this right here would fit a ceramic AR or a neoprene, or not neoprene, but the, uh, the, the polymer uh, ballistic plate right back there uh, and some Kevlar zip it up no one would ever know you train your child what that what that book bag is really for and they don't tell anyone they don't let anybody know but they have it that way if anything ever happens you work with them you teach them how to cover behind it and that's that's it so uh, just things to think about and if uh, any of you guys have looked for the field line tactical stuff and can't find it, if you are interested in one of these bags, um, or if I run out of them, if anybody wants some more, let me know, and uh, I'll you know I'll, I'll send you one out, uh, not free of course, but you know we'll, we'll work it out. I do take PayPal, uh, so either way. Um, just wanted to show those off and give an update on the other ones. Thanks for watching.